Bop, 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 boom. Hey, hi, how you doing? Yes, we're today we're talking about gaunts, okay? Termagants, Hermagants, Abram Gaunts. Yeah, think about that one for a bit. Um, I, I really thought about what to say about these guys because they're like the most well understood unit in the Tyranid codexes you know what do you what, what do you say about them um <laughs> okay so i'm not i'm not even gonna bother to tell you hey this is a gaunt because i just think that's an insult to my intelligence um i look at the the hormagon is is the real big change that i see bounding leap has changed a bit i think i don't know whatever but the real thing is the adrenal glands and the toxin sacs. And I was really looking at these to find – I found that if you give them both, I think they become too expensive. You know, you, you give them both and now it's 10 points a model. And I think, eh, no. The other problem that I have on it is that <coughs> tunnels, you know, you have to set up – in that in the six inches around it i believe and you, if you could get 30 running through that tunnel and and let them set up that would be sweet but now they're pretty much coming out in units of 10 as i which means why why would you even do them of all the other units all the other infantry units you could bring out through that hole why would you bring out 10 gaunts right i mean that's silly so i looked at it though and i ran a few die trials dice rolling trials on them and the toxin sacks on the hormagons i think is the biggest biggest change because making those attacks poison suddenly these things can eat uh space meanies they really can. I mean, if you if you fight anything that's toughness three, which is the vast majority of troop choices out there, then just just you're getting the two attacks is sweet enough. But now you're going to get a re-roll on the wound. So you're gonna get two attacks and a re-roll on the wound. Which is which is really, really nice. They just will eat them very very quickly but to get it so that they still wound on a four plus on the, on on space meanies uh this is a very very nice upgrade you know they already get the move through cover they get the the fleet they get uh now the bounding leap which basically you know adds what two or three to their role so so that's kind of uh, nice but I really like the toxin sacks on on the hormagons. Now, now to give a little talking about about our, our termagant friends, you know they're cheaper, which is fine. They had to give them something, otherwise nobody would ever take these guys, right? Because there are so many other shooty units in the game that why why would you do it? A, a brood of warriors is is much tougher. And can shoot just as much, almost. I'm not pretty much when you when you think about the strangles and everything like that. But so they gave them the ability that scuttling swarm ability, which means if you take a full brood of them, you get your turvagon as a troop choice to generate even more of them, which is very nice. If you watched my, you know, Nidzilla video, very nice. You get monstrous creatures as your troop choice, generating troop units. So I believe, unless somebody wants to correct me, uh, there's nothing in 6th edition that says monstrous creatures can't score. Nope, I can't think of anything. I'm sure other people can if it is if, if that's true. But as far as I know, you're a troop choice. They're a troop choice. And they generate troop choices. And those units don't become a part of the Turvagon unit. They just become individual units. So every turn, they just 
generate another scoring unit. Wow, try to try to get all of those off of a off of a table corner. And and the fact that they also all have that move through cover and everything like that. So for the objectives and crazy stuff, um, they should they should be able to get pretty much wherever they need to go when they need to go there very quickly. Um, I don't I don't know really know why you would upgrade them. You know, I mean, they also have adrenal gland and toxin sacs, but then that really asks the question, hey, why don't you just get a hormigant then? Well, because I want to shoot something. You Really? You want to shoot something? You're buying these guys? Then... No. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will like the swarm, the swarmy swarmers, and that's why you're going to get the, the swarm lord. And actually, I'm not going to go too much into that because I'm making a my swarm army list video along with my infiltrator army list video I'm, I'm holding off on these a little bit and in fact i should have held off on the on the nidzilla one because i know when invasion comes out yes live event watch it there's gonna be some killer 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 carnifex broods in there formations is just gonna be insane but but so that that video is probably just going to become you know obsolete in in the next few days once once i flip that thing open it's gonna be wee so yeah i really like the hormigon though i know i'm just ranting on here because because there's really what do you, what, what do you have to say about it what do you have to say about it they these guys i have to say are stuck walking across uh the table except with the swarm lord and this is actually why he's called the swarm lord because unlike uh, Tyrants or the Prime, this is your HQ choice if you want massive amounts of Gaunts. He, he comes with the Lynchpin. Uh, you can give him Dominion. Um, Yeah, you can give him Dominion, so and then you can give him the Norn Crown, so he's just perfect for for keeping out that that uh, synapse range. And then with the three powers, you can give him Onslaught, you can give him Feel No Pain with Catalyst. Um, and of course the big thing is, but but you know there is a trick though. I mean, when you get the Prime, when you get the Prime, and he's an independent character, and he can join a unit of like 10 Hormagons or 10 – or any other type of Gaunts, then that's a lot of – as far as I understand it, a lot of lookout sir <laughs> opportunities right there. It's going to be a real tough to get to that Prime with him in that unit. The thing is, is though, you know, they're going to – those those ordnance Blasts, even a hoop of – 30 can be laid waste very quickly. I think we're going to – yeah, just it's just too fast. It's just too fast for me. I'm, I'm used to so many of my units having more than one wound, you know, and, and you know, toughness 5 or 6 so that they're not going to be insta-killed. Uh, so hit them with an ordinance blast, right? Boom. Okay, they're down. They're down one wound, and so many of those units that I can get, they they can have regeneration. So there's there's a good chance that they'll even get it back next round. But yeah, if you can, oh, that's what I was gonna say. The swarm lord with the um, I forget the name of his ability, so I'm not gonna misquote it. But it's the ability that allows you to give. An infantry or uh, or a troop choice or an infantry troop choice, the outflank ability. That's that's where these guys come to shine. It, it, wait, is it him? Is it him or a tyrant? Never mind. One of them. To give them the outflank ability. That's the only real way to get these guys across the table en masse in a, in a unit of 30. And if, if, you, if you can do it twice, now that I'm thinking you can do it twice, it might be the Tyrant then, uh, you could have 60 of them. Whee! Coming in from the sides of the table. That would be pretty awesome. I still think they're a little fragile because you're going you're gonna to have to back them up with some form of reinforcement. 
Uh, and if you get to the point of backing them up with some form of reinforcement, then you're back to my infiltrator deep striking army list, which is also coming out, and and uh, which I think is more effective at doing that because you're bringing in deadlier creatures for about the same price, you know, as a full fledged uh, not unit with the upgrade because you're going to give some form of upgrade. Now, if they gave these guys acid blood, boom. Totally different video. Totally different perspective. They used to be able to have it before. I don't know why they can't get it now. There could be in a formation out there coming up this weekend, and I'm talking out of my ass. Suddenly, whoop, special acid blood gaunts will come into existence, which will be awesome. Could you imagine these guys wounding then everybody on... on, on uh, it would be it would be very nice it would be very nice so it's a possibility still you know a lot of things still up in the air we've got two more data slates coming which i look forward to previewing for you guys i know probably not my best video going here because what do, what do you really say about them y you buy lots of them and uh yeah you, you throw them at the other side and now you can outflank them that's my view on the gaunts um i hope you like it and see you next time. Ah!